cylinder two is flowing more fuel than the other two on that bank. Every other one. Two, one, three. Two, one, three. I can see it. I see it. It's plain as day. I'm just surprised that I didn't see it earlier. Well, I had my firing order wrong and I had my trigger cylinder wrong and I was misidentifying all of it. So I'm gonna give my brother a call and talk about this waveform right here. See if we got an update on this truck and this is where we're gonna end it too. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm measuring, I'm measuring pressure drops for each injector firing event. So with that pressure transducer in the rail, I can see yeah. every, every injector firing and the number two is showing me. I had my firing order wrong when I was going through it with you in the shop, so it was all wrong. I remember that, yeah. And so, but I see it now in the edits as Caleb and I are getting ready to release this. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can see it. It's plain as day. Number two's flowing more. But yeah, I, I'd feel a lot more confident. Push him about getting a fuel injector put in that. Uh, sorry for keeping you guys in suspense. If you didn't see the Facebook post, this vehicle is fixed. The injector did fix it. I was nervous about this one. Never seen injector flow be less on a timer tool than more with the engine running. I don't typically do the pressure transducer stuff with the fuel systems and uh, this was clutch, man. It really was. Yes, yeah, so we didn't get to see the correction uh, factor. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll share this image with you. This is the image my brother shared. We're showing like minus 14 on the long term and positive uh, 10 on the short term on bank one where that injector was replaced. And then you're seeing from memory here uh, a minus 11 and a positive 12 on bank two. But all said and done, we're at like minus four and positive one total trim, at least on that capture. And then here's here's the actual, and this is after it's been balanced. You see the short-term trim down here at the bottom, right, hovering around zero. Those look good. And my long-term trim, I'm showing a positive five on bank two and a positive one, close to 2% on uh, bank one. That was our, our main one. Like we would have never found this without whatever the heck you're doing over there. Yeah, you know, dude, I mean, for real. have been speculating and I'm parts still changing. was I still was speculating. <laughs> yeah. I'm still like to see a flow rate on a fuel injector that's less than three yeah. psi on yeah. that final test we did. Yeah, that's a lean condition yeah. all day long. Yeah. Nope, it was a rich condition. That's crazy. It flowed more, like yeah. you said, vacuum and then yeah, a more consistent have, pulse width yeah. on the. You know, duty cycle, consistent duty cycle of the yeah. injector and, and, and vacuum. RPM and vacuum. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's Crazy. the only thing I, you know, the panel Crazy. had to be like jiggling in there. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's still the timer tool at least told us there was which injector. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's when I talked to him. I'm like, look, I know we have a problem with that injector, but it's flowing less. It doesn't make any sense. But we did, if you look back at our speculations, yes. we were saying it's a possibility. Oh, and then when you accidentally saw it in your editing, you're like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, because so, I had my firing order yeah, all wrong yeah. while I was here. Yeah. I, and he, it was hard to get that. I don't think I, I could have narrowed in on that number two injector without the timer tool. We were both in agreement, we're changing this injector, whether yeah. we make the fuel trim worse or not. We yeah. both thought- Yeah, because we had a rough idle and we're like, hey, if it's flowing wrong, you know what I mean? We yeah. both though thought, when I left, we're gonna make it worse, changing this injector. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're like, there's a chance of fuel trim getting Because it's flowing less, it's flowing. Yeah, that's right, but it flowed more. Yeah. yeah, crazy stuff. That's funny. Yeah. I'm focused here, here, and here. Looks like three is flowing more but there's two and three are close on that one. Two and three, three flowing more. Yeah, I could pause there and be like, look, they're perfect. <laughs> you see how difficult this can be. But I think that's a pretty good capture. If we, if we want to do a before and after, I think maybe, maybe that's the one where we can see bank two and then we see bank one right there. So hope you guys like that. Um, well, Caleb can work his magic and put this together, but uh, I'm super excited the truck's fixed. Anxious to hear your guys' thoughts on the characteristics we're seeing, uh, the fact that our timer tool showed less flow and we have more flow with the Pico. I mean, the Pico really was, was clutch here. Great case study, really difficult one for us. Hope you guys learned something from this. Whenever you find a fuel injector like this where you're, you're using a timer tool and, and you see one that's off, 
don't worry. I guess the lesson really is don't worry about the variables of saying, is it rich or lean? It's a problem. Change it, right? We would have done that anyway without all of this. So I think that's a good takeaway. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.